Hey guys, today we get to talk about the best Magic the Gathering cheater ever. I guess he's been unbanned, but maybe he's gonna be banned very soon. So he was recently hit with a game loss from Mark Cards in the top 8. This guy is legendary. He's undefeatable, he is in my opinion straight up the best Magic player ever because you cannot beat him. He will cheat his way into winning. So you think, okay, he's been banned in 2011. He was banned recently. He was banned twice. You would figure that, hmm, he probably is not going to cheat. The first thing he does is cheat during the top eight. Since he's been banned in 2014, which is his second ban, he has been learning different cheating techniques to get better and better at his craft. He is the most watched Magic player. If you play against him, if he's across the table, Yes, you need to keep your eyes on him, but even then, he can get away with a lot because he's the, he's the best. And you might ask, whoa, doesn't anyone care? No, the Magic community loves him, and I have proof. Famous YouTubers will have dinner with him, and he is dating also a famous YouTuber, or I guess a fa famous Magic personality, and because of their connections, of his connections, he's beloved by the MTG community, and all he does is cheat and win. Well, I guess he beloved because he wins and he wins because he cheats. So cheating is actually really essential to his personal branding. This dude, I mean, imagine that you go to, you get banned for cheating in 2011. People are writing really nasty articles about you. 2014 rolls on, you get unbanned. And in 2014, they found that you were cheating again. And they wrote another bunch of nasty articles. What is the first thing you do when you get unbanned in 2017? Cheat, of course, right? It's only logical. How is this guy allowed to play a tournament still? Like, it's ridiculous to me that you're a tournament organizer and you see the dude and he's finishing top eight, he's winning all your prizes. He, imagine a local store, they hold a tournament, it has a really cool prize, he shows up, he wins a prize. Does anyone, even if he did it legitimately and this is a, the bad part even if he does does it without cheating which he has never done in his life does anyone in that tournament feel good like does anyone who played him feels like that was a fair tournament no his reputation is so bad that he's worse than mike long i grew up with mike long mark justice and john finkel and finkel was the good guy and those two were just ridiculous especially mike long but at least Mike Long had the de decency to not do it as soon as he was caught. He would allow it to die down a little bit, wait his time out, maybe skip a tournament, and then go to the next one and cheat. This dude has no chill. There is no chill in this guy. Recently recovered, recently got unbanned, goes to the tournament, finishes the top eight, cheats. Now, you might say Alex is a victim of circumstance, right? People expect him to cheat, so therefore he cheats. But he gets to keep the prize money. And he, I will tell you this from a personal basis, me attacking him isn't, there's more people who support Alex than support me. And that's because Alex is ingrained in the community. The community loves him for some reason because he's a winner. The community loves winners like Jared. Remember that the Jared dude who would take your deck and give you lands? Yeah, it was, it's insane to me how much cheating goes on and how supported it is by the Magic community. Like this guy should not allowed to be play allowed in any tournament. He should not be allowed. Like in tournament organizers should just say nope. We reserve the right to turn you away because everyone else is going to have a bad experience. Alex, please leave. But they support him. Star City Game supports him. And I will show you just the ridiculousness of how much support he gets from the Magic community. And it's hard to fight. It's like when I was fighting the monthly Magic Box, really difficult to fight them when every other YouTuber is saying that's amazing and you're the only one saying, hey, it's a scam and I approve. No one wants to hear that and no one heard that. The same with Puka Trade. It's really hard to fight the thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people saying Puka Trade is the best thing since sliced bread when I'm looking at the economic model and they're giving points 
they're giving fifteen thousand dollars in points to every youtuber who's willing to make a 15 minute video and saying hey this is not feasible it's really hard to go against the grain and this is the same you would assume that most people don't like cheaters but it's alex Bercini. it's alex the cheater it's alex the great alexander the great he has mastered a craft. What do you think he was doing since 2014? Do you think he was getting better at magic? No. Blank no. He was learning how to cheat better. Imagine someone who was slighted by society. And to get back at society, he had to master his craft like a magician, right? So let's say we, Magic the Gathering is actually a magician society. And we banned him once. He came back. He also practiced dark magic again. So we had to ban him a second time. This sounds like something out of Harry Potter. He would come back 10 times stronger at black magic, which in this case would be cheating. And he would just destroy you. There's a reason this guy wins every tournament he's in. There's a reason he finishes in top eight. Like every single time. There's a reason he used to be the best. I mean, look at that picture. He won $10,000 in power nine, which is probably worth more than $10,000 now. He got to keep. You got to keep it. So the, the uh, ability for him to recover, how, how he's composed psychologically has a lot to do with how the community is composed. If we had a zero tolerance cheating policy, you wouldn't have people in your draft add cards in their pocket. You wouldn't have people go to the bathroom together. It's kind of creepy, but I've seen it. You wouldn't have people go for a quote smoke in the parking lot and then come back with everyone has a mono green deck now the one person has a mono green deck another person has a red aggro deck it looks like they combine their pulls and then split it as if it was two-headed giant and that happens a ton cheating is acceptable at your local game store because cheating is acceptable at the highest level and unless you want that to change you have to make an example of someone you you have to it's not that i don't like alex alex for all accounts is the nicest guy ever He's well connected with the Magic the Gathering community. He's dating a very popular Magic the Gathering uh, creator. He has had dinner with Rudy and people love him. People absolutely love this guy because he's very personal and ma many cheaters, many people who steal. Madoff was one of the most personal people. You get in a room with him, you're going to give him all your money, right? So, Bercini. My gosh, he's back. And you can be sure that I will punish him every time he's caught for cheating, that I will make this video on him, and I'm not going to give him any slack. And I hope that these tournament organizers record him playing at one time because he will cheat on camera because he's done it before. I'm hoping that these tournament organizers will say, hey, you know, we, we don't want you here we want a better experience for everyone else here. Imagine going to a tournament and knowing that this guy's at the tournament and knowing this guy's going to finish top eight and this guy's going to win outright win the tournament. And he's so arrogant. The cheat that he's probably most famous for is playing Explore and playing extra land. So Explore puts one land in play. He puts two lands in play with Explore, which makes it one of the most powerful magic cards of all time, right? I mean, for one in a green, you get two land in play and draw a card. Come on now. He is crazy. And the magic community that supports him is ridiculous. And this is one of the reasons that I will never play competitive magic. Because you will bump into him more often than not. You will bump, all it takes is one Alex to win that tournament and everyone feels bad. Because even if he didn't cheat, here's the crazy part. Even if he doesn't cheat, no one's having fun. No, I guarantee you not a single person in that room is having fun because they're worried that they've just been cheated. He's taking persistent top eights away from people. He's taking prize money, $10,000. He's taking power nine from people. And people let him get away from it because this is what, where we are today, where if I make a video about him, a lot of people will support him and say that he's a great thing and slice bread and do what it takes to win. Uh, it, it's sad to see how much support he has in the community. Um, he has a lot. I, you know, I want to drop names and I'll drop names, uh, if it comes to that. But what I'm hoping is I make this video, there's people come to my video and they drop their own name, right? That's probably what's going to happen. 
I can tell you right now from my experience, having made a video which, I don't know, there's a couple hundred thousand views on it, I got a lot of backlash for calling him out. I mean, he's, it wasn't me making this up. He's been banned twice. And he's been caught cheating this time. Again, right after being unbanned. You, you cannot make this stuff up. But he has a lot of supporters. I can tell you that much. Uh, he is the monthly magic box. He is Puka Trade. And until people realize what he truly is, he's not a master of his craft, which is cheating. He's just someone taking away the opportunities and a fair play of this game. And if you're seriously, if you really love magic and you enjoy the game, then the fair play, being able to play an opponent that you know that you don't have to watch them, that you can have fun playing with them and you don't need to treat it as if the guy is going to steal the top eight away from you from cheating. If you care about that, then you need to take a stand on him. You have to say nope, nope, and nope. His network of support is quite great. And it's a lot of pros. It's a lot of famous YouTubers. It's a lot of famous creators. I'll leave it at that. Anyway, bye guys.